So <clears throat> here we are given two rates, rate of adding and the rate of removing. I'm going to be teaching you in this video everything about rates, starting from at what time is the greatest number of fish in the lake? At is time of five, is the number of the fish increasing or decreasing? Find the rate of change of the fish at time of five, and is the rate of change of the fish increasing or decreasing at the time of five? All of these prompts have different answers. Let's start with the first one. So when they say at what time is the greatest number of fish in the lake, then what you are supposed to do is to actually equalize the equation of the adding of the fish, rate of the adding, to the equation for the rate of the removing. And that way you're going to be finding an intersection point a time, and you will then do a test on the left and the right of this time. Let me bring up the equations here. So essentially, I have to graph this one and graph the second equation and see where they intersect. In terms of F R Q, that would be saying ET is equal to LT. And you're going to be finding the time of the intersection. Let's go to Desmos for that. Now, of course, don't forget that the window has to be from 0 to 8. So in Desmos, I've already put the equations, but now I have to go to the spanner sign and click it and make my x ranging from 0 to an 8. And I'm going to see where they intersect. Of course, in the positive quadrant from 0 to 8, they'll be intersecting essentially at 6.203. Okay, they're intersecting at 6.203. Now, the rate of the adding is the function in red, and the rate of removing is the function in blue. So, what's happening here is that they're intersecting at this time point, and on the left of this time point, the red one is more, and the red one means adding. But on the right of this point, the blue one is more. And the blue one means removing the fish. So on the left of this point, the rate of adding minus the rate of removing is bigger than zero because the rate of adding is bigger than the rate of removing. But on the right of this point, the rate of adding minus the rate of removing is less than zero because the rate of removing is bigger. And so when this happens, when on the left of this point is positive, on the right of this point is negative, this will qualify this time point as the time for the greatest. So 6.203 is time for the greatest. So here we're gonna say time is equal to 6.203 and how do we know? Because the rate of adding minus the rate of removing on the left of it is bigger than zero, but the rate of adding minus the rate of removing on the right of it is less than zero. Okay, so the time is going to be this for question one, 6.203. Moving on to question two, is the number... Um, of the fish increasing or decreasing at the time of five, then what you should do is you will take the E at the time of five, minus it by the L of the time of five, and see how much you get. If you get more than zero, it's increasing. But if you were to get less than zero, then it has to be decreasing. So let's see the numbers. Let's go back to Desmos. Now to know my exact values at the x of 5, I would click on this sign. I would click on table for both functions. Okay, now when the x is 
5, let's click on 5, um, the ET is equal to 27.5. And for this one here, let's find out how much that is at X of 5. It's 9.656. Okay, now I have my two uh, values at the time of 5. All I have to do is minus them and see if my answer is more than 0 or less than 0. So now back here, if I were to minus them, I will do 27.5 minus 9.656. I'll get a number that's more than zero, so the answer is going to be increasing. Okay, next up, what is the rate of change of the fish at the time of five? Um, this just means to do E of five minus L of 5, and you will find how much that is. We already have uh, the setup in the previous question. It's uh, this setup, and let's see how much that is. And you will get 17.844. Perfect. Question 4. Is the rate of change of the fish increasing or decreasing at the time of 5? Which basically means we should do now E prime of 5 minus L prime of 5 and if we get more than 0 it's increasing but if we do E prime of 5 minus L prime of 5 and if we get less than 0 is decreasing we already have our decimals ready let's go and do it so all I have to do here is to just come here to the left and I must uh, do functions and I'll look for d over dx. And I must use brackets and enclose it in brackets. And I must do the same here on the left of it. So functions, d over dx, bracket, bracket. But I don't have any numbers. So I must now, I'm looking for um, the difference between them at the time of five. So I must go to this sign. And I must put a table and enter 5. And that will be negative 6.801 for the adding, for the E prime. For this one, do the same thing. Put the table, enter 5. That will be 3.921. So going back here, I'll be basically having E prime of 5 is equal to negative 6.801. And L prime of 5 is equal to 3.921. So right now if I minus them, I will do negative 6.801 minus 3.921. And that will give me a number that is less than 0, right? Let's see how much that is exactly. To be exact, I got negative 10.722, which is less than 0. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to say decreasing at the time of five. And that's all there is about rates when you're given two equations.